In this tutorial we are going to use jQuery and Ajax to implement live search in PHP. Live search is something where user need not to wait for reload whole page to get such result, but instant such result will come. Searching is the core part of the website. A easy search attract visitors with great experience, but if your database is big then be careful with this kind of features. Because every time Ajax will fire a fetch record from the database, that could lead slow processing. In this video tutorial, we take customer database, and on the basis of customer name, we search data from table using Ajax function call and display on web page without page refresh. Friends, I have one table TBL customer with column name customer red, customer name address city. Postal code and customer. I have already inserted some data into this table. Friends, this is my simple page. In this page, I have already loaded one jQuery. I have used Bootstrap CSS framework in this page. Now, friends, I have defined one text box with name search text and it is also a search text. And write placeholder with text search by customer name. Friends, now I define one div with a result. In this div, I will display search result into this div using jQuery. Now, friends, I start writing jQuery query code on text box with its search text on key up jQuery event. In this jQuery code, first I store text value into one variable txt. Now friends I will check if text box has some value then Ajax function will call. For this I write if statement and check text box has some value. Now friends this my Ajax function. In this function first parameter result in which I write fetch.php. Second parameter is method. I use post method. Third is form data which is passed. I pass search text. Fourth is data type. I use text data type and last is success which is output of Ajax function. Here we get HTML data output from fetch.php page and display on division with a result. Friends now I create one page fetch.php and first I make database connection. After making database connection define one variable output for storing fetch data from database and store into a HTML output and display on client side web page. Now friends this is select SQL query for searching data from table on the basis of which text I entered into a search text box. In query I have used like operator in a where close with percentage sign is used to search for a specified pattern in a column. Friends, I execute this query by using miscly query function and store into one result variable. Now friends, I will check number of rows of fetching data using miscly number rows function. If number of rows more than zero then it will display data on web page otherwise it display data not found message on page. If number of rows more than zero then friends first I define header of table with respective column name. After a defining table column head then I use while loop and fetch all data from result of executed SQL query by using miscly fetch array function. In this while loop I store all result into output variable using concatenation operator. Friends, lastly, I use echo statement and print output variable. So this result will display on client page under division with a result. Now, friends, we see output.
So friends thank you for watching this video. If you have any query regarding this video you can comment on this video I will reply on your comment. Friends you want to get more update of my video. So, friends you can subscribe my YouTube channel. Friends you can also like my Facebook page also, or you can also follow Wibs lesson on Twitter.